My dear students, let me welcome you for another interesting and joyful session because we are learning skills. And if uh, while learning by doing and learning by experiencing, joy is part of the game, I'm sure the skill can be learned faster and quicker. Self awareness ke perspective mein humne jo model kitab se learn kiya usme hum values ke baare mein discussion kar chuke hain pehla component the one of the area of self awareness what makes a person intellectually and emotionally and physically and structurally and spiritually stronger is it when and how and why answers are answered by a person? But what are his personal standards and what are the ways, the way he makes his moral judgments, values? Second component, when we are talking about self-awareness, is how do we process and acquire the information from the environment from ourself, within ourself, outside of ourself. What is the style, my dear students? Style. And remember, style is different for all of us. Female style is different, so is male. And that is what we like to learn now. What are the learning styles? Which style is the one which you are using? Let's find out. And what are the different styles which are available? So knowing how you acquire, process, evaluate, interpret the information, what is the better way, better style for you? It may be different for you than me. So speaking of the learning styles, of course, we need to learn from the learning theories. Psychology and sociology, mostly sociology. And at the same time, we should have a respect that if someone else is learning in, with a different style, then we need, we need to have patience enough to accommodate him or her, to make him learn in his preferred way of learning. So in other words, it's a time for skill learning. Well, so if we are learning the styles, it means this is an in individual's inclination to perceive. Remember perception we had studied? It's an individual's inclination to perceive. Or perception we had studied that you think it's reality, maybe it's not reality. And then, it's an individual's inclination to interpret and respond to information in a certain way. Perception, interpretation, and response. So in other words, sensing and responding. That's what we like to learn now. How do you sense and how do you respond? And the person next to you, the person sitting in your office, the person walking in your team, the person in your group, the person in the market, he or she may have a different way of interpreting it, a different way of sensing it, and different way of responding. And once we know all this spectrum, that how these patterns are different, how these styles are different, we will be more effective manager. Yeh purpose hai na management skill ka. Okay. One size will not fit all. One recipe will not work for all of us. And we need to learn that recipe which gives you strength may not be the same which I am will like it. So, I have to be aware what are the different recipes? 
for acquiring information, interpreting information, responding to the information, which we learn from the learning theories. ठीक है? आपका style different होगा, आपके साथ बैठे हुए दूसरे student का style different. तो अगर आपने उसको कोई चीज समझानी है, वो जब बाजू का लोग कह रहे हैं, मुझे समझ में नहीं आ रहा, मुझे मुझे नजर नहीं आ रहा, वो यही problem होता है. वो किसी और एंगल से उस तस्वीर को उन अल्फाज को उस लेक्चर को सुन रहे होते हैं आप किसी और अल्फाज यानी उसकी फ्रीक्वेंसी कुछ और होती है आपकी फ्रीक्वेंसी कुछ और होती है और जब फ्रीक्वेंसी मैच नहीं करेगी सिग्नल पास नहीं होगा एज सिंपल एज दैट सो वी नीड टू लर्न इज दिस कस्टमर टॉकिंग थ्रू फीलिंग इज दिस कस्टमर Talking through thinking? Is this customer talking through doing? I have said three things. He is talking. She is talking. Is she talking from heart? Is she talking from mind? Is she talking through hands? And if you have to answer the frequency of the frequency, Message will pass on loud and clear. It will be a win-win situation. Problem targets meet करने में, goals attain करने में, उसी वक्त होता है, जब message ही clear नहीं है, हमें मालूम ही नहीं, आप चाहते क्या हैं. So let us learn then, what are the different styles? What are the learning choices? And once again, we call it ABC of learning. ABC of learning. Three choices, three styles, three way of learning by individuals. Number one, learning through cognition, learning through knowledge, learning through books, through browsers, through websites, through manuals, learning to know. I want to know. I want to know where it is written. I want to know where it is present in the policy. I want to know when it was implemented. I want to know when the price was changed. No. So you should immediately bring to your mind, this person is talking through cognitive domain. Self-awareness ki baat ho rahi hai. Or, फिर मुझे भी मालूम होना चाहिए what is my preferred way of learning do i learn through cognitive domain do i learn through psychomotor domain do i learn through effective domain preferred हो सकता है मैं तीनों में ही लर्न करता हूं लेकिन बेहतर तो यही होगा लेकिन what is the preferred way preferred way means maybe 70 80% of the time you learn through that domain and of course, other domains are also. So, dominant style, aapka wo kehlaayega, jis mein aap 70-80% of the time learn kar rahe. Isi tarah se, when somebody, maybe your colleague, maybe subordinate, maybe customer, maybe boss, is talking 70 and 80% of the time through that domain, and once you know which domain through his talking, And now you know that these are different domains. And we are learning how to be effective manager. And what is effective manager? Who is effective manager? Who knows how to get work done with the help of others, through the help of others, through people. And that's what we are learning here. People learn differently. Dusra choice kya hai? Learning by doing. Behavioral domain. Psychomotor. Behavioral domain. Learning through action. Action based learning. Or tisra choice kya hai? Learning to live together. Effective domain. Not effective. Effective. A for effective. B for behavioral. C for cognitive. A, B, C of learning. So in other words, I need to know Myself. Self-awareness hai na? I need to know myself. What is my 
preferred domain of learning. Learning makes me able. Learning makes me experienced. Learning makes me wiser. Learning improves my performance. That's why I like to know. I personally want to know self-awareness. What is my preferred domain? In other words, we will go through a measurement instrument, answer certain statements, finding out what is your preferred domain of learning. Are you ready then? Well, this means now we have time to give you that you go for the instrument to assess your skill. Here we are finding out the learning style. I'm sure many of you must have filled it, answered it, and you are ready to learn the interpretation. If not, let me go quickly through and you can answer statement by statement because these are the behaviors you engage. You answer how you typically behave most of the time, on most days, with most people. And on a scale of one to five, one is that you never use this way of dealing with people. And five means almost always you go and engage in this behavior. So scale of one to five, choose the number which applies to you for that statement. Some of you may have answered it already and have the score. And those who have not, please do it now. So we learn what is your preferred learning style. Number one, I develop cooperative relationships among people I work with. One to five ka scale hai. I develop cooperative relationships among people I work with. Number two, I seek out challenging opportunities that test my own skills and abilities. Number three, I challenge people to try out new and innovative approaches to their work. Number four, I praise people for a job well done. Number five, I set a personal example of what I expect from others. Number six, I search outside the formal boundaries of my organization for innovative ways to improve what we do. Number seven, I make it a point to let people know about my confidence in their abilities. Number eight, I actively listen to diverse point of views. Scale of one to five. Agar aap hamesha actively listen karte hain, to apne aap ko paanj dijiye ga. Agar aap kabhi nahi listen karte, ya kabhi kabhi karte hain, to ek point. Number nine, I ask, what can we learn when things do not go as expected? I ask. Number ten, I appeal to others to share an exciting dream of the future. Number 11, I follow through on the promises and commitments that I make. Number 12, I'm contagiously enthusiastic, highly enthusiastic and positive about future possibilities. Number 13, I treat others with dignity and respect. Number 14, I'm clear about my philosophy of leadership. Number 15, I make certain that we set achievable goals, make concrete plans, and establish measurable milestones for the projects and programs that we work on. So these are 15 statements. Aapne jo score diya hai har statement ka, us score ko niche le aayye. Scoring kijiye. Scoring to aapne already kar di hai. Us score ko niche le aayye. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 statement ka score niche a jayega. Us ka total kar di. Jis column ka total high hai. Teen columns hai na aapke paas. A, B, C. Effective ka column hai. Behavioral ka column hai. Cognitive ka column hai. हर कॉलम में पांच स्टेटमेंट्स का स्कोर मौजूद है 
सी विच वन इज द हाइएस्ट उसको सर्कल कर दीजिए दिस इज योर प्रेफर्ड वे ऑफ लर्निंग यू वॉन्ट टू गो इवन डीपर इन टू इट लुक एट दैट स्टेटमेंट गो बैक एंड रीड फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्टेटमेंट नंबर थर्टीन स्टेटमेंट नंबर थर्टीन सेज आई ट्रीट अदर्स विद डिग्निटी एंड रिस्पेक्ट इफेक्टिव यू फील अबाउट अदर्स यू रिस्पेक्ट अदर्स इफेक्टिव रिस्पेक्ट कम्स फ्रॉम हार्ट यू हैव प्लेस इन योर हार्ट फॉर अदर्स यू फील हर्ट वेन यू आर नॉट रिस्पेक्टेबल टू अदर्स लुक एट बिहेवियरल कॉलम प्लीज स्टेटमेंट नंबर इलेवन फॉर एग्जाम्पल I follow through on the promises and commitments that I make. I follow through. I make sure कि मैंने आपको अपने अल्फाज दिए हैं जिसको उर्दू में कहते हैं ना मैंने आपको जुबान दे दी है तो जो मैंने जुबान दे दी नाउ आई विल स्टिक टू इट बिहेवियर आई विल लीड बाई वॉकिंग एंड लेट माई वॉक मेक द टॉक एक्शन एक्शन थ्रू हैंड्स बॉडी एक्शन होगा ना एक्शन थ्रू हैंड्स एक्शन थ्रू योर वर्ड्स एक्शन थ्रू योर वॉकिंग जुबान दे दी है मैंने मंडे मॉर्निंग एट ओ क्लॉक यू विल गेट इट यू विल गेट इट सो इन अदर वर्ड्स दिस इज योर प्रेफर्ड वे ऑफ डूइंग थिंग्स तीसरा कॉलम जो है वो कॉग्नेटिव है प्लीज नोटिस स्टेटमेंट नंबर ट्वेल्व I'm highly enthusiastic. Any statement number twelve, जो है वो cognitive domain में. I'm highly, contagiously enthusiastic and positive about future possibilities. So, in other words, I would like to know what are those possibilities. Where can I go? How we can have a twenty percent growth? I would like to know how can we have a twenty percent growth. I would like to learn how can we open up to the new market cognition. So all these statements, indirectly, which you have already given a score, is giving you a total. अच्छा अब इसका मतलब जैसे मैंने शुरू में भी कहा था ये नहीं है कि if this is your preferred style, you cannot go to other styles as well. Better it is. That you can use all your six senses. Five senses तो हमें use करनी है बाजू का तो हम वो भी नहीं करते लेकिन can you develop your six senses? दिल को दिल से राह होती है दिल है तो राह होगी ना लेकिन अगर दिल से कोई रास्ता निकल ही नहीं रहा या दिल के अंदर हमने कोई मोटरवे बनाया ही नहीं किसी के लिए तो फिर इफेक्टिव डोमेन तो क्लोज है तो इसमें प्रॉब्लम नहीं है ऑल वट वी आर लर्निंग हियर इज दैट इफ दिस इज नॉट योर प्रेफर्ड वे ऑफ लर्निंग वट इज अदर इज इट कॉग्नेटिव इज इट बिहेवियरल बट वट एवर इट इज प्लीज कीप इन माइंड दैट द पीपल यू विल बी वर्किंग इन द टीम्स एंड द ग्रुप एंड द ऑफिस दे आर डिफरेंट Now, if you learn through cognitive domain, and I learn through effective domain, there will be a little complication and difficulty in getting the point across. I care about the company, and I care about the employees. I'm a task focus as well as people focus. When I talk to a person who is only task focus. He doesn't care about the people. I want the work done. I don't care what happens to you. So, immediately, you should make an analysis that you're dealing with a person who is highly task focused. He won't care whether you are feeling cold. He won't care whether your son or your uh, daughter or your brother or your sister is sick at home. He's task focused. And when somebody is task focus, please communicate to him or her through that language. लेकिन पहले पता तो चले ना 
इसलिए कि अगर आप इफेक्टिव डोमेन में जी वो देखिए ना सुबह मुझे स्कूल बच्चे को छोड़ना था तो मैं लेट हो गया मेरा भाई जो है वो घर में बीमार था ही डजन केयर अबाउट दैट सो वन ही डजन केयर पीपल आर डिफरेंट सो यू हैव टू स्पीक इन दैट लैंग्वेज विच द लैंग्वेज कैन बी अंडरस्टूड ये लैंग्वेज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट है ना जी और अगर आप टर्की में जाके उर्दू बोलने लगेंगे चाहे वो आपका दोस्त ही है वो तो नहीं समझेगा तो दोस्ती की लैंग्वेज वही होगी जो दोस्त बोलता है इफ द कस्टमर इज फ्रेंडली एंड यू आर ऑल्सो कस्टमर फ्रेंडली एंड कस्टमर इज टचिंग द सीट्स ऑफ द पोशिश ऑफ द कार और द सोफा इमीजिएटली गेट एन आंसर परसीव दर इज अ पर्सन हु टच एंड फील एंड देन मेक द डिसीजन and if you can show him the way he wants or she wants you will close this sale and when the sale is closed revenue will come in people will give you higher respect and reward that is what management skill is you will be promoted faster than others so is instrument ki base par apna preferred learning style note kijiye और ये भी नोट कीजिए कि जो आपका स्टाइल है वो जरूरी नहीं कि दूसरों का हो और हम ये भी नहीं कह रहे हैं कि एक स्टाइल दूसरे से बेहतर है नो ऑल स्टाइल्स आर देयर पीपल आर डिफरेंट समाइम यू विल फाइंड फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम टास्क फोकस एज वेल एज पीपल फोकस इन अदर वर्ड्स यू विल से दैट आई एम मोर इन टू इफेक्टिव एंड बिहेवियर बट देन आई ऑलवेज से I'll go to learn new skills. So maybe I'll also work into the cognitive domain. But not everybody. It comes with experience. So all what we are learning here is what is your score? Number one, where I am. And if this is not working for me, now that's important. If this is your learning, and the kind of job and the office you are working in. हमेशा कंप्लेंट ही होती है आपके बारे में हमेशा आपके कुलीग्स खुश नहीं है आपसे हमेशा आप टारगेट्स मीट करने में पीछे हैं प्लीज लर्न इफ यू हैव टू स्विच योर लर्निंग स्टाइल इसलिए उस वोकेशन की उस जॉब की भी कोई रिक्वायरमेंट हो सकती है मतलब बीइंग ए प्रोफेसर आई हैव टू वर्क इन ऑल थ्री डोमेन आई हैव टू रीड बुक्स आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट न्यू लिटरेचर रिमेंबर मैंने कहा था मैंने पिछले हफ्ते ये रिसर्च आर्टिकल पढ़ा I want to know. I want to learn by reading articles. Then I'm dealing with students, students in the class, students in the camera, virtually. I have to keep you and your respect intact. And then through my actions, through my body language, through my eye contact, I have to make sure that you listen to me. Isn't that true? So maybe. when you reach at my age you will using all three but right now please notice whatever your preferred learning style is is it helping you in the job if it's helping good if not make an improvement plan switch it companies for example it companies better it is if you are in cognitive domain customer relationing better it is if you are in an effective domain agar kahi policy bhi thodi si change karni pade customer ko khush karne ke liye customer ko loyal banane ke liye talk to the manager change it effective agar aap sales mein hain sales ke liye action zaruri hai behavioral domain you learn through action so this means now you know the learning styles are different and once all these three learning styles are familiar to you now let's find out why it is important why this skill is important why learning makes you aware of yourself your strengths your weaknesses your opportunities and at the same time the strengths 
and the weaknesses and the opportunities and the threats. Dekhi na, ye threat hi hai na. You want to learn in cognitive? I'm speaking in effective. You don't understand what I'm saying. I don't understand what you're saying. So when the message is not clear, it's a lose-lose situation. Main ye kahunga ke main itna experienced hoon, aap meri baat hi nahi sun rahe hain. Aap kehte hain ki mujhe kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha. Concept clear nahi hai aapka. Aaj wo concept clear nahi hota na, actually wo self concept ke andar aur self awareness ke andar learning ka problem. I want to see. मैं बोल रहा हूं आपको कुछ दिखाई नहीं रहा I want to learn by doing. मैं आपको कुछ बिहेवियर से शो ही नहीं कर रहा कि ये काम ऐसे नहीं ऐसे होता है मैं तभी ये कहता हूं कि नहीं इंस्ट्रूमेंट मौजूद है मेजर कर लीजिए आइए पर मिल बैठकर इसको समझते हैं और फिर अपने कुलीग से डिस्कस कीजिए डायलॉग कीजिए क्यों डिफरेंट है अच्छा आप किस जॉब में हैं डायलॉग इसी का नाम है ना किस जॉब में हैं इज इट वर्किंग यू फॉर यू इज इट हेल्पिंग यू जिस बिजनेस के फंक्शन में आप हैं कितने सालों में कितनी प्रमोशन आपको मिली कितने इंक्रीमेंट्स मिले मैनेजमेंट स्किल शुड हैव ए रिलेशनशिप विद योर इनकम विद योर बेनिफिट विद योर रिवॉर्ड तभी तो हम मैनेजमेंट स्किल लर्न कर रहे हैं इट मस्ट बी एबल टू टेक यू higher faster so my dear students is ki skill ki learning skill or style ki importance ko samajhte hue let us learn from professor peter sanjay he has floated the concept of learning organization he says organization will only learn when people will learn and now we know people learn differently According to Professor Peter Sanjay, learning cycle through which every person should go through, learning is the outcome. But to reach that outcome, one should go through a process of four quadrants. पहला quadrant क्या है? Reflecting. जब मैंने कहा, let's learn about learning styles. You reflect. डाउन फॉर ए मिनट इसीडीएम कहते हैं जब मैं कहता हूं टाइम फॉर तो यू कैन हैव अ पॉज रिफ्लेक्ट गो इन टू इमेजिनेशन रिफ्लेक्शन इज ए एक्टिविटी विच इज रिलेटेड विद लाइट आप में से जो फिजिक्स के स्टूडेंट हो उन्होंने लाइट की प्रॉपर्टी पढ़ी होगी रिफ्लेक्शन और रिफ्रैक्शन याद है जिन्होंने फिजिक्स पढ़ी है ये जो साइंस के स्टूडेंट रहे रिफ्लेक्शन इज वेन यू सी योर फेस थ्रू द मिरर और ये मिरर टेस्ट है आर यू कॉन्फिडेंट इन द मिरर वेन यू टॉक टू योर सेल्फ टॉक टू योर सेल्फ रिफ्लेक्ट दट हाउ यू हैव स्पेंड द डे वॉज इट वर्थ फाइव You paid the price of this day by giving away one day of your life. What is the return on the investment? This day will not come back. Isn't that true? Reflect. What is the ROI? Imagine this day spent was a worthwhile spent. If you are happy. If you are happy, my dear student, that yes, मैंने office का काम भी किया, family को भी time दिया, दोस्तों के साथ भी गपशप लगाई, और किसी के काम भी आया, और फिर अल्लाह ताला को भी याद रख, देखिए वो भी कामों में से काम है, reflect. वैसे तो कहते हैं पांच मरतबा याद रखना चाहिए लेकिन बाजूकात याद ही नहीं आता दिन गुजर जाता है हफ्ता गुजर जाता है महीनों गुजर जाते हैं कई लोग मुझे ऐसे मिलते हैं मैं उनसे पूछता हूं भाई ईद की नमाज पढ़ी कहते नहीं जी वो भी सोते ही रह गए रिफ्लेक्ट 
Reflect about your office. Reflect about your job. Reflect about your life. Reflect about your family. Reflect about the future. Future of the country. Reflect. When you will reflect, according to Professor Peter Sanjay, when you will reflect, actually you will be creator. Think about it. You are creating a new life. You are creating a new opportunity. You are creating a new arena. You are creating a new thought. You have learned to be better. जब आपने रिफ्लेक्ट किया कि आज मुझे टाइम नहीं मिला किसी दोस्त को कॉल करने का जो बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है फिर मुझे यहां जापानी याद आते हैं जापानीज वेरी गुड नेशन आफ्टर सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर नो बड़ी थॉट दे विल बिकम ए वर्ल्ड फोर्स देव शोन इट और फिर मैं इसीलिए बार बार पाकिस्तान की भी एग्जाम्पल देता हूं लुक एट दैट टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड डॉटर ऑफ पाकिस्तान डिंट शी बिकम द वर्ल्ड चैंपियन वन शी बिकेम सर्टिफाइड प्रोफेशनल तो रिफ्लेक्ट कीजिए कि पाकिस्तान के अंदर और पाकिस्तानियों के अंदर पोटेंशियल तो है सो यू क्रिएट ए न्यू थॉट ए न्यू पैटर्न ए न्यू एवन्यू लर्निंग का दूसरा साइकिल ये कनेक्टिंग अच्छा वो मैं जापानियों की बात बता रहा था वो तो दरमियान में रह गई जापानीज ये कहते हैं कि अगर आपने तीन दिन किसी अपने दोस्त को कॉल नहीं किया दैट्स नॉट गुड कॉल इट अगेन कॉल इम अगेन द कम्युनिकेशन गैप शुड नॉट गो मोर देन थ्री डेज हम लोग तो बाजूकात अपने भाइयों को वालदे को बच्चों को हफ्तों हफ्तों महीने महीने कॉल नहीं करते कल्चर है ना लेट्स लेट्स रिफ्लेक्ट इफ इट्स वर्किंग फॉर यू फाइन आई हैव नथिंग टू से हम अपने कस्टमर को कॉल ही नहीं करते रिफ्लेक्ट कीजिए इज इट ए हेल्थी साइन लर्न करना है ना हमें वो स्किल लर्न करनी है जो हेल्थी है जो हमें मैनेजमेंट के अंदर हायर पोजिशन पर ले जाएगी and when you will reflect you will create a new pattern a new ripple of action a new opportunity to be explored a new island of happiness connecting learning cycle ka dusra quadrant according to professor peter sanje connecting can you connect the dots can you analyze can you put things together in a chain every piece of the chain if it's a piece no good you put all those pieces in a cycle it will be a chain people will pay you the price can you connect in the best way possible and can you analyze which connection is the best connection is the के नेटवर्क की स्ट्रेंथ जो है वो उन पीसेस को कनेक्ट करने के अंदर होती है और जब कनेक्शन सही ना हो कभी स्पार्क होता है कभी ब्लास्ट होता है कभी दिल टूट जाता है वो भी तो ब्लास्ट ही है ना आंखों में से धुआं निकलता है कानों में से धुआं निकलता है और आंखों का धुआं जो है फिर वो आंसुओं की शक्ल में नजर भी आता है बट स्टिल कैन यू एनालाइज वाई डू यू सी दिस ड्रॉप्स ऑफ टीयर्स कमिंग इन द आईज ऑफ द कस्टमर वाई दीज ड्रॉप्स आर कमिंग इन योर आईज ऑफ द क्लिक डिड यू से समथिंग कैन यू लर्न फ्रॉम इट या ये कि वो रोता ही रहा और आपको पता ही ना चल सका कि वेर डिड आई गो रॉन्ग analyzing it and connecting it third third quadrant cycle is about deciding we need action manager is to get work done goal achieved project hamesha 
वो याद रखे जाते हैं जो कंप्लीट होते हैं सो यू नॉट ओनली डिजाइनर यूर ऑल्सो ए डिवेल्पर लेट द डील बी कंप्लीट सेल जो कंप्लीट ना हो आई एम सॉरी इट इज नॉट काउंटेड यू मेक अ डिसीजन डिवेल्प अ प्लान कम अप विथ स्ट्रैटेजीज डिवेलपिंग स्ट्रैटेजी इज वन पार्ट बट वंस यू डू इट यू मेड अ डिसीजन हेयर कम्स दी फोर्थ क्वार्रेंट डूइंग इट यू हैव प्लान नाउ इंप्लीमेंट दी स्ट्रैटेजी the profit will come so my dear students according to professor peter sanjay when you are learning make sure whatever your learning style is isliye ke dekhiye jo cognitive domain mein hoga ya effective domain mein hoga usko bhi kaha ja raha hai ki wo reflect kare dekhe soche future mein bhi jaye past mein bhi jaye present mein to wo maujood hi hai so that one can create better opportunities for himself herself for his family for the company and for the country and why not for the globe let us also learn from another professor kolb david kolb professor peter sanjay of mit professor david kolb of another university best case western university not best western case western university in ohio and he is also a very well known learning specialist and he is talking that you also must learn through your experience because that is your concrete experience aur jo experience kar liya wo ab bhulega nahi aur agar acha experience tha so maybe you would like to do it again second learning by contemplating by observing just just sit down observe what are the pattern just contemplate just locate why this dot is there why this ripple is there look at the data look at the bar chart look at the spikes look at the data which is isolated observe what are the trends sahil par baith kar समुंदर की लहरों को देखना भी आंखों को अच्छा लगता है उससे भी हैप्पीनेस आती है और फिर अगर चौदवी की रात हो तो यू कैन सी द यंग पोटेंशियल ऑफ द सी एंड यू कैन फील वॉर्मनेस ऑफ दो सेम टाइट्स विच आर कमिंग टू द शोर्स लर्निंग मच्योराइजिंग एब्स्ट्रैक्ट फिलोसफी फिलोसफी तो होनी चाहिए फिलोसफी इज द मदर ऑफ ऑल ब्रांचेस ऑफ नोइंग एंड नॉलेज लॉजिकली यू राइजिंग मीन नाउ यू बिकम रैशनल लॉजिकल इफ देन इफ देन एल्स लॉजिकल एंड दिस इज अ लीनियर रिलेशनशिप can there be a cyclic relationship learning but you are asking but of course the fourth quadrant also according to david call professor david call is learning by doing to dekhiye milti julti cheeze hain wahan par bhi learning by doing tha yahan par bhi learning by doing hai lekin yahan learning by experience hai wahan dekhiye isse milti julti kya cheez thi यहां लर्निंग थ्रू ऑब्जर्वेशन है और लर्निंग थ्रू थ्यूराइजिंग है लर्निंग थ्रू थ्यूराइजिंग है और लर्निंग थ्रू थ्यूराइजिंग इज नॉट द सेम थिंग एज यू टॉकिंग अबाउट रिफ्लेक्शन यू फिलोसॉफिकली यू बिकम अ फिलोसफर और फिलोसफर जो है वो ये होता है जो सोच रहा होता है रिफ्लेक्ट कर रहा होता है वो आसमान तक पहुंच जाता है बल्कि साथ में आसमान तक चला जाता है और फिर वापस आ जाता है विद रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड you can go back into your thoughts you can go uh, into the future through reflection so these are the different ways of learning how we can learn better how we can analyze better how can we converge on certain things how can we diverge from certain things 
converges when you make a change. You connect the pieces together. Diverges that when you have a divergent opinions. So you must have all these different skills. Having these different learning skills will make you, number one, stronger insight. Dekhi na, hadith bhi hai, man arafa nafsahu fakad arafa rabbahu. You want to learn about your creator? About God? About Allah? First learn about yourself. The one who knows about himself or herself would find out God is there. That's what we learn from Professor Peter Sanjay and Professor David Call. So after learning then, developing our self-awareness, we move on to the third area, which is now where the people will start coming in into your life. Because we cannot live alone. So far, values, it was your personal values. Learnings, it was your personal learning. Now we come to the third component of self-awareness, we have a need that we want to live with people. We came in this world, we were with people. We were with the mother and father. We went to school, we were with other people, with our class fellows. We came to university, we are with our class fellows. And we keep these memories with ourselves. We went to the office. Now here we are working with the colleagues. So in other words, interpersonal needs, what are that? Why it's important? And how do I determine preferences and interaction patterns when I'm dealing with others? Number one, I should know, how do I react and interact with others? I must know. What is my preferred way of reacting and interacting. And number two, what are the other ways people may react and interact to a situation, to an information, to an issue, to a problem, to a strategy, to a policy, to a process, to the benefit which you gave or the salary you gave? How do people react and interact at the interpersonal level. And knowing this will also knowing this will also make you stronger and you will be able to deal with other people in a better way. So after self-management now we are coming into social management. How do we relate to the others? But before we relate to the others, how do I relate to myself? I should know that. Okay? Are you ready then? So in other words, it's a time now we learn a new skill, which is a component of self-awareness. And what is that? I want to know about my personality. Before I know the personality of the others. I want to know what is the pattern of reaction and interaction of me before I know how I react with the others, how I relate with the others, how do I develop relationship with the others? My dear students, ladies and gentlemen, personality, kya definition hogi iski? Ye wo dabba hai jisko main aur aap liye phirte hain. Iske through hum dousron se connect hote hain. इसके थ्रू हम लोगों को अट्रैक्ट करते हैं और अट्रैक्ट होते हैं इसके थ्रू हम रिस्पॉन्ड करते हैं पर्सनैलिटी इज अ सम टोटल ऑफ ऑल दोज वेज एंड एक्टिविटीज थ्रू विच यू एंड मी रिएक्ट एंड इंटरेक्ट विद अदर्स अदर ऑब्जेक्ट्स अदर कंपनीज अदर पीपल अदर इश्यूज other thoughts, other cultures, other foods. And by looking at this reaction, once again comes the physics. For every action, 
Remember the third law of motion? For every action, there is always an opposite, always an opposite and equal reaction. Action or reaction, interaction ho gaya na. Lekin knowing about this personality, it's a very important part of self-awareness. Number one, what type of personality do I have? And, what type of personality I will meet with the other people in the office, in the market. They will not be of my type. And if they are not of my type, how do I behave with them? That I behave in a successful way and an effective way. That I will be called an effective manager. So in other words, knowing the personality of myself, and knowing the personality of the others is very important component of self-awareness. When we look at the personality theories, we come to know that it has three components. One component comes from heredity. Which family we come from. which area we come from. Heredity, up here, environment. Which country we belong to? Is it a cold country or is it a hot country? And that reminds me, when I went first to United States in 1973, there was an American student, we were studying together, and when we sort of became friends in the first semester. I invited him. I said, Marty, can you come to my... I was living in the residence, graduate uh, hall. I said, can you come to my hall? I'll cook something for you. He said, okay. He came on weekend and I cooked some chicken. Oh, chicken to kaisi paki uska to mujhe nahi andaza. لیکن اب اس میں جو میں نے سپائسز ڈالی خاص طور پر لال مرچ ڈالی وہ تو میں نے پاکستانی جس طرح سے کھاتے ہیں حالانکہ میرا خیال ہے میں بہت کم ہی کھاتا ہوں لیکن یہ ہے کہ وہ جتنی کم سے مقدار کم بھی مقدار میں نے اس میں استعمال کی and when he came and he just took the first bite I still remember that that first bite when he took I can see the redness on his face چہرہ ایسا ریڈ ہو گیا کہ جیسے پتہ نہیں کیا اس نے کھا لیا then I realized go ho they never use these red spices they probably never use any spice of course this environment should be able to tell you something because this is a reaction to that particular uh, cooking which we had this is a reaction to that particular statement which you make. This is a reaction to a particular decision which you make. So in other words, my dear students, heredity is one factor. Environment is the second factor. And situation is the third factor. Heredity we cannot change. Because the information coming from father and mother that is what is the information I have. Heredity cannot be changed. But environment and situation around me, around my office, I am responsible for it. So we will learn what is my personality. How can I change it? One third. One third to change you. Two thirds to change you. But knowing what my personality is, and then what are the different personalities other people have, it will give us a chance to make a decision about ourselves. That how do I know and know it better and know it stronger? Because this knowing about personality and the personality type, because this gives us, you and me, an enduring characteristic which describes your behavior. Just like we say, these are Rana Sahib. 
ये भट्ट साहब हैं एंड इमीडिएटली आप कहते हैं ये शेख साहब हैं ये चौधरी साहब हैं सम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक कम्स टू योर माइंड ये कैसी पर्सनैलिटी होगी बट हियर वी लाइक टू लर्न एग्जैक्टली वट टाइप ऑफ पर्सनैलिटी आई है तो फिर वही स्किल लर्निंग होगी स्किल असेसमेंट होगी वेर आई एम वट पर्सनैलिटी डू आई हैव इज इट गिविंग मी कम्फर्ट इफ नॉट कैन आई चेंज इट येस इट कैन बी चेंज यू कैन मेक एन इंप्रूवमेंट प्लान एंड सी वट अदर पर्सनैलिटी टाइप्स आर अवेलेबल टू यू हाउ कैन यू अच्छा कैसे होगा देखिए बड़ा सिंपल है How can you react next time and interact next time if the same kind of situation or problem or person will come in your way? And proactively, you will make a plan that this time I will not be. जैसे बाजू का तो आप कहते हैं ना, oh, दोबारा अगर ऐसा मेरे साथ हुआ तो मैं ऐसा कभी नहीं करूँगा. That is what we are learning here. लेकिन सबसे पहले, we need to learn. What is my personality type? What is your personality type? You will go through an assessment and you will find out. But this is a third component of the self-awareness part, knowing this management skill and learning to make ourselves stronger, so that this persona, or persona is a Greek word. This means this box which we carry. You see of me. And I see a few. All of us has this box. So, would you like to know more about this box? And how do you tick in this box? And how can you tick next time better that people would like to talk to this box? People would like to keep this box. People would not like to throw this box. Thank you, and thank you very much. And I'll see you, inshallah, in the next session.